Welcome back to What's To Like, I'm Claire and today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on just an everyday easy look, easy wearing makeup that I would wear every day. So first we're going to prep the skin and get the skin hydrated and ready for makeup to go on to. So I've already added a little bit of Daily Reviving Concentrate by Kiehl's. I've allowed that to seep into the skin and do its magic and then I'm just going to add a couple of pumps of Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising, lo moisturising Lotion. This gives um, quite a nice sticky base for your foundation to adhere to so you don't really need to use any primers. On top of what you can do if you have any pore issues, you can use a pore filling primer. Especially if you're going to use a, a matte foundation, I would probably use a, a pore filling primer but today I'm not. I'm going to use a, a relatively new foundation which I've been trying out. Spread that into the skin. Make sure you get right underneath your eyes. I've got really dry skin around my mouth at the minute, so I'm trying to make sure I don't have any dry areas for my foundation to cling to. And my lips are really sore, I think the change in the weather has my lips, made my lips really sore. So the foundation that I'm going to use today is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I'm going to take a couple of pumps of this. Just dot that around my face. And I'm going to work this into the skin with a Real Techniques beauty sponge. I have dampened this and wring the water out. If you do that, that ensures that none of the um, excess foundation will get lost in your sponge. Just tap that into the skin. You can add more coverage if you want to. This foundation is really buildable. It is um, quite high coverage anyway. If you want it to be extremely um, high coverage, you could just add another layer. But with an everyday look, I just like to um, have one layer and then use concealer in the areas that I think I feel like I need extra coverage. And this one gives quite a nice luminosity to the skin as well, which I like. I'm not 100% um, keen on matte foundations. I think once you're in your 30s, I think you've got to be careful of what type of foundation that you use. An old blemish, which has got dry skin around it. Which tends to make your um, imperfections stand out more. I've got it around my jaw as well. So I'm going to take a bit of concealer and the one I'm going to use today is the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Skin and this one is in I think, oh it's light in the colour light. So I will just take this in the areas I feel like I need a bit of extra light on my skin and extra coverage with any other blemishes to work quite, quite quickly um, with this concealer you just tend to set and once it starts setting it's quite hard to move but once it is set in place it doesn't tend to budge which is quite good you can see how dry and cracked my lips are I need to get a new lip balm if anybody can recommend a good one I really, I'd um, really appreciate some suggestions. The ones I'm using, I'm using I've used Burt's Bees, loads of different ones, the EOS balms, they're not very very hydrating to my lips. I'll work that all into the areas that you need it to. And then I will take a translucent setting powder before you get any cracks appearing in your wrinkles. And using the same beauty sponge, I just dip my sponge into the product to give out that much on your sponge and then just tap that underneath your eyes and push that into the areas that you would get any crease in and just let that sit there let that bake underneath your eyes same on the other side 
And if you pat that there, uh, transfer some powder over your eyes while you put your concealer, that'll you, um, act as a good base for any eyeshadows that you're going to use. So there, that's the only areas I'm going to put the um, powder at the minute until I've done my contouring because today I'm going to use a new product um, which is the Hollywood Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a liquid contour. The colour I went for is fair to medium. I think this is the lightest one. I think they do a medium to deep. This is quite dark anyway. You just twist the cap. That's it. Twist it on. Make sure you twist it off when you finish because if you squeeze the um, tube, all your product's going to come out. Just squeeze it. That's it. Let's just come into the top there. Then just place the product where you want to contour. I'm just going to try it on this side first because I'm not sure how long you've got to do, how much time you've got to move the product. So I'm going to uh, use a brush to blend this into my um, foundation. I'm using a Real, Tex Real Techniques Experts Expert Face Brush. I'm getting my words out. And then just buff that into the skin. That's really pigmented. I also need another mirror, um, if anybody's got any more suggestions for that, for um, a makeup mirror that I can have. It's just here, possibly with some lights on it. I don't have to hold a hand mirror then. That's really nice. It looks really natural. Maybe the, I know the camera can pick that up. I find with some contours, especially powder ones, they're just too harsh and you can tell exactly where you placed them. I really like that. So I'm going to take that on the other side. And just place that in the same position as the other one. Then the same brush again and just work that into the skin. stipple and then buff that in. You're not going to move the foundation that you've already put down too much if you're pushing it into your skin. I really like that. I might put a little bit down the side of my nose. Just do a little bit of contour in here. Just a tiny little bit. I'm just going to use a Simply Essentials flat concealer brush, an F6 brush, and again just stipple that in. This is lovely. They also do a highlighter in the um, same type of tube, which obviously you can buy as a, a set together, but I only got the um, contour. I think I'm going to order the uh, highlighter as well. That's lovely. I really like that. So I'm going to put that back on and remember to twist the cap on my uh, lid. So I'm going to take a bit of the uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder again and just, just do a light duster across the whole face just so, so I can put some more powders on top of my skin um, if you don't tend to powder your skin after you've put um, a liquid foundation on you can tend to get drag in I'm just using an eco tools powder brush which is this one just dipping it into the powder tapping it off and then just putting a light layer in the areas that I'm going to put all the products. This doesn't give you any more coverage, it just holds your makeup in place. Next I'm going to use a Mineral a Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC just to add a bit more warmth to my face 
and the number it says A75 just medium deep and I'm going to use the same eco tools brush that I just used to powder before I'm just going to dip into the product and this is a really nice powder it's got um, like a satin effect to it so it doesn't leave your skin looking flat I just want to dust that around any areas that you would naturally catch the sun so it should be your forehead, a little bit down your nose just above the contour that we laid down before and do a little bit underneath your chin hide that double chin and that just brings a nice, a nice um, amount of warmth to your skin without looking orange and looking fake and if you dust that into your hairline you won't have that gap of having an orange forehead and then a white scalp which looks bad so next I'm just going to do my eyes and I just do a really basic um, look my eyes are just a little bit of eyeshadow on a little bit of eyeliner and then eyebrows so I think first I'll do my eyebrows and the product that I'm going to use today is the Anastasia Brow Dip Pomade in Soft Brown. I've used this for a very long time. It is amazing. I've never had any bad experiences with it. I did what at one point think it was breaking me out, but I don't. Since I've been using it and using other products, it's turned out it's been the other products I've been using, not this. And I'm just going to use this little brush, which is an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use it for my eyebrows. It's just a little... Um, if you can see it there it's just a tiny little brush I'm not really sure where I got it from but it is really good to do your eyebrows so I just dip into the product and then just run that through your eyebrows and I still like my eyebrows to look really natural so I just go through my eyebrows and basically just go over any, any makeup or any powders that I've already put down through my eyebrows that make them look um, powdery. I don't like the Instagram eyebrow. It really doesn't suit me, and it, it just to, just looks totally fake. I'm sure you can see the difference from just putting a tiny little bit of product through it. It makes a massive difference. And that's without any carving out of your eyebrows with any concealer. I really don't see the need. And the same on the other side. So I just have to use a little mirror to get up close. My eyebrows are two totally different shades. I've had them microbladed and I need to go back for my second um, appointment. I would definitely recommend microblading. Even on the days where you're not wearing any makeup, the eyebrows look loads better. Right, 100% need my eyebrows um, doing That's all I do for my eyebrows, just on an on a, um, everyday basis. I wouldn't spend hours and hours um, trying to define each each hair. Um, if I was going out or if I was going to a special event, I'd spend more time on them, but just for everyday easiness. Just as long as my eyebrows don't look like they're sticking out everywhere, I'm quite happy with my eyebrows just look really natural. So the next thing I'm going to use is a long lasting stick 8 hour transfer eyeshadow by Kiko. Kiko Milano and the colour that I'm using is number 38 
and this is really nice just to wear on its own or you can use it with um, other products if you want to use it as an eye an eyeshadow base so just rub that in and they're really pigmented I'd like to do that and then I just get a Uh, eyeshadow brush and I'm using the so I'm going to use a Bare Minerals tapered eyeshadow brush just to um, rub that in and buff that out and you have to work quite quickly with these um, Kiko eyeshadow sticks because they set quite quickly and once they're set they're set which is obviously amazing for all day makeup wear Take a little bit more, just twist that up and then just run a little bit through there and it's got a tiny little bit of glitter running through this so that you can see it. Now I'm just switching to a Morphe M139 brush, I'm going to take that in there and then just buff this top bit out, just to deepen up the eye socket. You need to really buff back and forth with these um, just to blend them out. And then do the exact same on the other side with the same colour. I'm going to do the same process, just lay a little bit down as I did there. Use the same tapered eyeshadow brush and just buff those edges out. before you put any more in your socket just to make sure it's all laid down and neat first then take your Kiko eyeshadow again and just run a little bit through your socket and then go back to your Morphe uh, M139 brush and again back and forth Wind, uh, windshield wiper moment, uh, movements and buff that out making sure there's no harsh lines back and forth, back and forth like I say you have to work really quickly um, with these eyeshadows because they do tend to set really quickly And that's the eyeshadow. And then I take um, some eyeliner, and the one I'm currently using, uh, which I really like, is Not on My Table 
should be because I definitely put it down. I'm just going to find it. So I'm going to take the Glam Eyes Rimmel London eyeliner and this is really easy to use. Um, it's my favourite type of eyeliner. It's on a, a little brush at the end. So it's easy to control. I'm not into the um, felt tip eyeliners. So I'm just going to do a thin line. I'll attempt to do a thin line, depends how it turns out. And just I don't think I'm going to do a wing, maybe just a little wing. That's my cat, if you can hear him crying. Just gonna let my cat out. And then again, back to the other eye. We're just gonna do exactly the same, uh, same eyeliner, and just draw across the top of the eyelid as well. Is that a mark? No, fluff. <laughs> and that's the eyeliner. Really easy, really simple. Just let that dry. I've got quite hooded eyes, so <laughs> if I open my eyes quite high, I tend to get the band of the eyeliner when it's not dry, but this dries really well. And once it's set, it's not set, it doesn't smudge unless you wet it or anything. And then I'm going to use uh, the the Colossal Go Extreme Volume by Maybelline Mascara This gives really good um, coverage on your eyelashes lengthens them really well and thickens them really well got a good spoolie on the end to thicken up your eyelashes so I like to do two coats of mascara Let that settle a little bit. Just fan, fan that off. I find if you let your first um, layer of your mascara set a little bit um, before you put your second one on, you'll get more volume. If you go straight in and uh, go straight over, you're just running through the same wet mascara. But if you give it a little time to set, you've got another, another um, set of eyelashes to adhere to, in effect. And I was going to put some eyelashes on today, but I don't think I'm going to. For an everyday uh, look, I wouldn't put mas um, mascara on as well as eyelashes. Then I use this as well for the bottom lashes. Just wiggle that back and forth, just so you're grabbing all the lashes. And then again, on the other side. Good 
Now I'm going to use some blusher. The blusher that I'm going to use today is the uh, Milani Baked Blusher, blusher in uh, Luminoso. This is one of my favourite um, blushes at the minute. So I'm going to take a Real Techniques blush brush and just dip that into there lightly because it is really pigmented. This also has a little mirror underneath which I've just discovered. And I'm just take a little bit of that, sweeping that across the cheeks. Same again on the other side. Just brings a really nice colour. Flush to your face. And then I'm going to take a fan brush, which is a Lorac fan brush, which you can use any fan brush. And I'm going to use uh, Soft and Gentle by MAC, which is another minimalized skin finish. This one's a highlighter. Just dip your brush into it back and forth. And I'm just going to dust this in the areas that I want to bring more light back to my face, which is generally across the top of my cheeks. Uh, above my cheekbones down my nose and a little bit across the forehead and I'm just going to go back to uh, my blush brush and just dust that through again just to make sure it all adheres together and then I'm going to use some setting spray and the one I'm using at the moment is the Insta Fix and Glow this is a two-in-one primer so you can actually use this before you put your makeup on uh, which gives it a nice tacky base um, I like to use it afterwards it um, sets it really well and if you used uh, powders it will allow the powders to sink in as well rather than leaving a chalky effect on your face so just Couple pumps of that on your face. Allow that to dry. Then I'm going to use a, a lip gloss today, not a liquid lipstick or a lipstick because my lips are so dry it will show up any any cracks, bumps, and cracky skin on your lips. So I'm going to use one of the new Extreme Resist L'Oreal Paris lip glosses, and this one's got quite a few sparkly glitter in it. It's got like a bent uh, wand on it. I think if I use anything else, my lips would look just look terrible. Or worse than they actually do already, so. smells really nice as well. It'll be obviously a product that you have to keep applying throughout the day if you're eating or touching your lips. I mean you can see how um, dry my lips are as well through this but it feels really thick. And that's the final look. So it's a really quick, easy makeup look that you can use um, every day. You don't have to go as deep as I have on the um, eyeshadow. You can just use a little bit of bronzer in the socket, the same bronzer that you used for your face, which is um, obviously less products to use. But really easy, really simple, and I really like it. And if you're interested in any more of my other tutorials, please like and subscribe and leave any other comments that you want to on these videos. Um, any products that you want me to try, I'm more than happy to do that as well. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.